What's up guys? I am now driving home from Ocean City Cruise Week. Dropped Moser off and I'm pretty pissed. Uh, while we were down there uh, last night or this morning, whenever it happened, uh, someone decided to hit and run my car. I'm pretty sure it was a truck. When I parked this car in the parking lot, I'm pretty sure I remember like a Silverado or something parked next to me. And when we came out this morning, half the bumper was ripped off and the lip was all messed up. Uh, they didn't leave any information. There was no cameras at the hotel, which I'm also pissed about. Um, and I've made that very clear to the owner of the hotel because they don't have any kind of protection or security or anything like that, which is stupid. Um, so this sucks, but it gives me an opportunity to get an aftermarket bumper. Um, I'm kind of indecisive on what I want. I could uh, get just a replacement factory bumper. I think that would be the cheapest option. I think I can get a new replacement one for like 250 bucks. Um, I think I can get like a aftermarket, um, like a Duraflex or something, like a like a body kit kind of front bumper for like 300. Or I could get the TRD IS 300 bumper. I think that's about 350. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. I'm kind of leaning towards the TRD bumper, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, the factory bumper is my least favorite option. I do like some Duraflex bumpers. Um, I'm just not too sure yet. I'm not going to get a JDM Alteza front bumper. Those are way too expensive, and I can't justify the price. Um, if I'm going to spend a grand on something on this car, it's going to be turboing it. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm pretty fucking pissed about it because, um, the lip that I put on this bumper, um, I painted it once months ago and it chipped and got fucked up as soon as I put it on because it was flexing and I repainted it last fucking week. Um, did a lot of prep work on it and repainted it again, put it on the bumper and I just got hit and run and the lip got fucked up again. So this lip just does not want to fucking stay nice on my car. So I'm pretty pissed about that. Um, I'm a lot less pissed than I was expecting to be, honestly. But I'm still pretty upset about it. Um, people keep telling me to file a police report. I'm not sure what that's going to do since we have no idea who did it. I'm not going to waste my time and get involved in some bullshit that's not going to have any positive outcome, so I'm not going to get the police involved. And it's, the damage that is there is not enough for me to make an insurance claim. I don't even have that good of insurance, so even if I had full coverage, it wouldn't be worth the claim this, because a $300 bumper, your deductible is probably going to be $500, so you're going to spend more on your deductible than the actual damage. So, I'm not going through insurance. I'm going to do it myself. Um, but, I'm going to have some pictures of bumpers for this car, uh, the OEM one, or like a Duraflex or a TRD, and I want you guys to tell me what you think looks best, and what you think I should get, um, because I'm ready to buy one, I'm just not sure yet, so I'm going to post this video as soon as I can, and let me know which bumper I should get, so, oh, and soon after this I'll probably have a quick short video about Cruise Week coming out, um, but this one will be first, even though filmed it last. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for suffering with me. Thanks for letting me vent about my stupid fucking hit and run. And I will see you guys soon. Next time. Whenever. And I have big news soon. So, uh, I will have a video about that soon. Very big news. See you.